Are you going to Japan? Are you thinking about whether you should be exchanging yen in your local country first before you go or after you arrive in Japan? This video explains why you should get yen in Japan, where and how to exchange yen in Japan. The best way to get yen in Japan is to use your debit card to withdraw yen from ATMs in Japan for the following reasons. ATM gives you one of the best exchange rates. It typically uses the Visa or MasterCard network's exchange rate. Typically, the foreign exchange rate has no markup. The exchange rate is very similar to what you would see on XC.com. Sometimes it is even better than the rate on XC.com. Now that depends on which ATM you use, and we'll get to this in this video. In a local bank in the US like Bank of America, they typically charge you about 5% of conversion fee. ATMs that let you use foreign debit cards are so convenient in Japan that they're everywhere in Tokyo. Let's talk about which ATM you could use. There are many ATMs that you can use to withdraw Japanese yen in Japan with your foreign debit card. The two most convenient ATMs are at 7-Eleven and Family Mart. We'll focus on Japan Post Bank, JP Bank ATM inside a Family Mart. I have another video on how to use the 7-Eleven, 7 Bank ATM. Check out that video after checking out this one so that you can compare the difference. JP Post Bank can be found in Family Mart convenience store and of course in Japan Post Bank branches. You won't see JP Post Bank inside some of the Tokyo metro stations or inside some of the department stores. You only see 7 Bank's ATM there. For this example, I went to a Family Mart to withdraw yen using my US debit card. At the front of this Family Mart, it has a sign that says Bank ATM by JP Bank. Let's see how to tell if your debit card would work with this ATM. First of all, you will see the sign Need Cash International ATM Service, plus a bunch of network logo. If the back of your foreign debit card has one of these logos, you are good to go. For example, it shows Visa, which is the most popular debit card network for US debit card, so if you have a US debit card, you are covered. The plus logo is mostly for Canadian debit cards, Service logo also work with some of the Canadian debit cards. Union Pay works with most debit cards from China or Hong Kong. Let's talk about how to use the JP Bank ATM. For every JP Bank ATM inside the Family Mart that I went to so far, they have an English menu. In fact, they have 16 languages to choose from. Just to name a few: English, Chinese, Korean, French. German, Portuguese, Vietnamese, Spanish, Japanese, and a bunch of other languages shown in the screen. After inserting your foreign debit card, you will see the screen. Pick a language. It then lets you withdraw cash. Then it asks for your debit card PIN number. Enter the amount of Japanese yen you want to withdraw in multiples of 1,000 yen. In this example, I was withdrawing 20,000 yen. It shows that the access fee is 220 yen. For comparison, 7-Eleven 7 Bank charges you 110 yen for 10,000 yen and 220 yen for 20,000 yen. I'm not sure how much of an access fee JP Bank ATM will charge you if you withdraw 10,000 yen. But what I do know is that if you withdraw more than 20,000 yen, such as 50,000 yen, it still only charges you 220 yen access fee which is the same with a 7-Bank ATM. After you confirm the cash withdrawal amount and access fee, there you go, it pops out cash for you. Note that one difference between JP Bank ATM and 7-Eleven ATM is that JP Bank doesn't prompt you the option to withdraw yen based on your home currency. So there's no way it will charge you 3.5% conversion fee like how a JP Bank ATM would if you press the home currency button. So in a way, it's a lower chance for JP Bank to overcharge you in terms of conversion fee. However, I noticed the exchange rate with JP Bank ATM isn't as straight as 7Bank ATM. So I still prefer to use 7Bank ATM if possible. But if I really need cash and there isn't any 7-Eleven nearby, I would still use a JP Bank ATM for a small amount of cash withdrawal. Finally, for those of you who are also bank 
with a bank that reimburses you the ATM transaction fee charged by the ATM machine, Charles Schwab did give me back 220 yen, but in USD. Thanks for watching, and big thanks for doing your homework before you go. You did an amazing job. You just saved yourself roughly 5% of conversion fee if you were to get yen in your home country before going to Japan. Enjoy your trip in Japan. I wish you all the best. If you find this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe buttons to help the YouTube algorithm to suggest this video to other people. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Onigato gozaimasu.